what rotations get completed for okay. if you're in second year PA school? Like, where do you do your rotations? Okay. So, in the University of Toronto program, we're actually affiliated with the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, or NASM, and part of the mission of the program is to um, provide care or provide education to our students. So half of our rotations need to be completed in Northern Ontario and half of them in Southern Ontario. So there's really no rhyme or reason to which specialties you complete in North or South. It's just sort of um, based on availability. Um, but the main specialties that we need to complete rotations in is family medicine, internal medicine, emergency medicine, pediatrics, psychiatry, and general surgery, and also women's health, which I believe is changing. I think they're actually taking that one out, but for us, we did require women's health, and then we do have two elective rotations. So the way that you decide where you do your rotations is you pick a home, a home location, so whether that's in Northern Ontario or Southern Ontario, you pick an, a home, so for me it was Waterloo, and then based on where your home location is, is depends on whether you're on a swap. So since um, my home was in the south, any rotation I did in the north was considered a swap, and therefore I was able to get housing and travel funding for those rotations. And then, for example, my one friend is from Sudbury, so her home location was Sudbury, Ontario, and therefore when she did rotations in Toronto, those were considered swap for her. And so she got funding to complete those rotations. Okay. And what rotation are you in right now? So I'm just about to start my elective rotation, which is going to be um, another family medicine in Sudbury, Ontario. So it's going to be a swap for me. Okay. And what was the rotation you were doing just before that? So just before I completed my women's health rotation in Cambridge, Ontario, which was in my home location. And what was the typical day for you as a clerk uh, in women's health? So in women's health, um, me and the physician would sort of look at the list for the day of the patients that were coming in. Um, this is on a clinic day. And we would sort of give me some of the more interesting cases because a lot can get repetitive after four weeks in the same clinic. So we would decide which cases I would see, which cases she would see, and then we would sort of go about our day. And after each patient, I would always go and debrief with her, present the case, and then we'd come up with a plan together. And then we would go and present the plan together. Um, and then if there were any procedures in clinic that day, like IUD insertions, PAPs, I would I would do some of them with her assistance, or sometimes I would assist her with some of them. And for some of the rotations, is there like a checklist of competencies or requirements for, for each clinical rotation? Yeah, so there are a list of required um, competencies or diagnoses that you see on each rotation. Um, they just recently were able to really hone in and condense this list so that it's much more simpler to complete for our students before it was like a really long list of like 200 things that we would have to sort of sort out where we were going to see all these things and make sure we were meeting all those criteria but now they've made it really um, concise like rotation like internal medicine you need to see these things in emergency medicine you need to see these things and so it's been really a lot easier now with that new list and is there a test that you write at the end of each rotation there is so we write the end of rotation exams the same that the american pa students write and it's through the physician assistant education association i believe which is an american-based um, association and they provide us with the exams and we write one in the last week of every rotation. Okay, and how do you study for that? I haven't really studied much for them. I felt like my rotations were giving me all of the experience that I needed and I've been successful in all of my exams so I really didn't study at all for them but I know my classmates would review some of our notes from our uh, first year they would read some textbook stuff make sure that they there is a list of um, things that are on these exams so it would it would definitely be useful if you were going to study to study those things mm -hmm. um, but I didn't really study that much honestly and what are some more interesting rotations that you've done apart from itself so one that I really was not expecting to enjoy was general surgery I really love my general surgery rotation and I've learned about myself a lot of things, one of them being that I really like performing minor procedures. And I also learned that I don't like major surgeries, and I much prefer doing the little minor procedures, so I found it was every day I would wake up and I'd be so excited to go 
Um, even though it was like a 7 a.m., I would be so excited because I was like, it's minor procedure day, I get to do a lot of stitching. So that was one of the rotations that I really enjoyed and also didn't expect to enjoy either.